This summer, South Suburban College hosted its week-long baseball and basketball camps, helping enthusiastic young athletes improve their game and teaching some how to play for the first time. Over 100 kids came out between both camps to learn from SSC coaches and players who emphasize fundamentals, sportsmanship, teamwork, and safety. Basketball coach John Pagotti and baseball coaches Steve Ruzich and Justin Papp spearheaded these camps to make sure the kids are learning the infrastructure of their sport. At basketball camp, kids practiced new drills to improve their craft and competed in five-on-five -five games daily. While the kids are having fun, they're learning teamwork at the same time. Players have to communicate with each other to find an open teammate, help teammates when they're double teamed, share the ball by passing it, and build trust in the other four players on their team. A second basketball camp was held just two weeks after the first one that highlighted shooting. Kids practiced free throws and jump shots before breaking down into five-on-five -five teams again. The team structure that we did, we wanted to keep them in their same age groups so that they were playing with kids of their, their size and their age, and then also be able to develop, uh, being able to work as a team, cooperate with each other, to, to go all go for one goal, and that's try to, to win a basketball game as a team. In the baseball camp, coaches stressed the proper techniques to play solid baseball. The kids were broken down into groups to perform things like the perfect slide. Feet first and hands in the air to prevent injury and becoming tangled up with the baseman. Ruzic and Papp insisted to all the young pitchers that they should not start throwing curveballs and breaking balls yet to make sure their arms don't suffer premature damage before college. Before the age of 14, uh, your arm is not fully developed yet. And to start throwing breaking balls really puts a lot of wear and tear on your elbow as well as your shoulder. So, um, you know, at a, at a younger age to get your arm stronger, um, all you should be able to throw is fastballs, change-ups, uh, not start throwing breaking balls until you're, you know, older. Players were split up into different teams where they played a round-robin tournament all week. Just like basketball camp, the kids are learning teamwork while they're having fun. Well, that's another reason why we put them into teams, because um, they feel important and they feel part of something. Um, within that team, a lot of the kids do become friends. And if they're shy, by, you know, by uh, the end of the camp, then you made some friends. Okay. Most of the players participating in the camp didn't know each other before the week began, but they must now depend on their teammates in order to win. That's the main thing of splitting them up into a team is so that they can understand the team concept, working with each other, playing with each other, because as they get older, they're going to need to understand those concepts as they get into the next level, to junior high, to high school, and even then move on to college. Even with this being a friendly, week-long scrimmage between all the teams, emotions still ran high with each game. As much as the coaches want the kids to learn the foundations of the game, they also know that the sport needs to be fun. The kids, on the most part, are great kids, and they're having fun, and to see a kid smile come up to you and say thanks, that's the most important thing to me about the camp. I think the kids are the best things about it. They're running around, playing, and having fun, and I think it gives them an, a, an opportunity to be able to, to stay out of trouble, understand that the common goal of the camp is to have fun, and just be good people, and I think that a camp environment can do that, and hopefully that's what happened this week. Bugatti and Ruzic welcomed the idea of hosting the camps and the coach's favorite part is being able to teach the game to these enthusiastic youth. Some of the parents were telling me that they really uh, saw a difference in the attitude of the kids when they came home. So what that means to me is that they're having fun, they're learning, and those kids you know, gave themselves a, a sense of self-esteem by making themselves a better player over these last two weeks of camp.